Hi fellas, welcome to our section study. My name is Kasani and today we are going to have another topic studied that I entitled The Seven Last Plagues. We are still in the book of Revelation. Kindly to the new ones, you can subscribe for more video like this. You won't miss any of our publication. Now Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 summarizes on events right before the battle of Armageddon. The nations were angry and the state of affairs on earth matches Jesus' description the last two days. As is followed by God's wrath, which are his judgment in a form of the last seven plagues upon and repent. Revelation 15 opens with a picture of seven angels with seven bowels filled with divine wrath. But before this outpouring happens, we have future glimpse of God faithful people. They are described as victorious over the beast, over his image and over his mark and over his number of his name. As standing on something resembling a sea of glass and singing the song of Moses and the lamb, all images remnant of the Hebrew on the shores of the Red Sea, celebrating God's victory over the Egyptians. The victorious saints are the same one referred as the 144,000 in Revelation chapter 14, verse 1 to verse 5, having refused the mark of the beasts. The beasts are protected from the seven last plagues. Then, at the second advent, their mortal bodies and are transformed and closed with the immortality, and they will join the resurrected saints when Jesus comes in power and glory. Now the meaning of the seven last plagues, people having already made their choices, either for God or for Babylon, Christ comes. However, the destructive wind of Satan's fury that have been restrained in the book of Revelation, chapter seven, verse one to verse three, are unleashed, followed by the seven last plagues, the seven last plagues are referred to as the last plagues because they come out on the very earth of the end's history. In the construct of the last of the seven trumpets cover the time period that included the entire Christian age and restricted in their scope. They executed while the gospel still being preached and intercession is taking place. They are mixed with mercy and their purpose is to bring enemies of God's people to repentance. On the other hand, the seven last plagues are poured out just a prayer of the second coming and they are poured out upon those who like Pharaoh had in their hearts against God's redeeming love and would not repent. The divine wrath is God's righteous judgment on the choices of people have made. And at the end time, at that time, the loss of their reaping and reaping their consequences of their own choices. The expression, no one was able to enter into the temple, points to the close of probation. As Christ is mediator, ministry in heaven comes to an end. The door of opportunity to repent closes forever. Therefore, the last plague will not be anymore. The repentance but only discloses the hardness of the hearts of those who close, choose their sides with Babylon, prompting them against to hate God and even more. So, kindly share this video in case you've learned something and make sure you don't miss our next video. My name is Kasani. May God be with you. We meet in the next video. I love you all.